Hi guys, so today we'll be reading The Three Little Pigs by Richard Johnson. And this book is a pop-up book and it is Abigail. So if you know who Abigail is, this is her book. So we'll be reading it today. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They lived with their father in a snug little house until one spring day their father said, My dear little pigs, you've grown too big. It is time you found homes of your own. So off they went. Watch out for the big, bad wolf. The first little pig decided to build a house out of straw. It'll take no time at all, she said. But your house straw is weak, said the second little pig. He built his house out of sticks. The third little pig laughed at them both. My house will be the strongest of it all. She's boasted, mine will be made out of bricks. And she worked all day and all night until at last her house was ready. Then one summer's morning, the big bad wolf came to the straw house. Little pig, little pig, let me in, cried the wolf. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin, the little pig replied. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. <coughs> and the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. The little pig ran as fast as she could to the, to the stick house, but the wolf was right behind her. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, said the wolf. And the little pigs replied, not by the hairs of her chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. The two little pigs ran as fast as they could to the brick house, but the wolf was right behind him. <sighs> When the wolf reached the brick house, he called, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. And the little pigs replied, Not by the hairs of our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed, but the wolf couldn't blow the house in. So he jumped onto the roof and slid down the chimney. But the three little pigs were ready for him. The wolf splashed into a cooking pot. Arr! He cried and ran away, never to be seen again. The end. Alrighty, guys. Thank you for listening. We'll see you guys later. Bye.